hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's another day another video and i'm so happy right now because i got to 350 subscribers it's amazing and i know by the time you're watching this it will be either more and i hope it will be more so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe thank you so today I wasn't even planning on recording this, but then I got a chance where everybody left the house and I'm just alone. So I decided to do the intro to the video that I'm about to share with you guys on four different types of masks that you can use at home for different skin tones and skin types. Okay, using kitchen ingredients. I'm a nutritionist and that's why I use food for my skin. And yeah, it's been paying off. And that ends my introduction Mama, because somebody just came in. Okay, so let's get down to the video. Thank you for clicking and being here. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. So our first mask is very suitable for dry skin and it is very good at managing acne and this is because our first ingredient being avocado, the avocado is rich in vitamin E, B and um, a variety of amino acids. So this helps it to act as a natural moisturizer to your skin, it soothes your skin which is why it's good for acne. And our second ingredient is a tomato. I talked about it in the previous video. If you haven't watched the video on evening out your skin tone, tafadhali just click and watch it. Tomato is rich in vitamin C, which acts as an anti-aging property. It's also rich in lycopene, which tightens your pores, prevents pimples, and acts as a natural sunscreen. Yeah, so all you need is about a tablespoon of mashed avocado or a quarter and a tablespoon of tomato pulp and yeah you have your mask you apply it on your face like i did and wait for it to dry about 15 10 to 15 minutes and wash it off with lukewarm water it feels slimy it's kind of hard to apply because it keeps sliding off your skin but be patient with it it's really worth it yep make sure to massage your skin and it actually feels really nice don't forget your neck area because we want to have an even skin tone both on your faces and on our necks and yeah that's it for the first mask so we're on to our next mask which brightens our skin and helps us even out the skin tone and our first ingredient is honey I talked about it in the other video so if you want to know the benefits of honey on your skin please make sure to also watch that video of evening out your skin tone and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed so that we can continue evening out our skin tone and achieving a perfect skin our second ingredient in this mask is the cinnamon cinnamon is quite an interesting ingredient and i'll talk about it in details in a few minutes but beware it can irritate your skin so i'll show you how to know whether to use it or not okay our third ingredient is our famous turmeric it is amazing and i have used it in the in another video i think about two other videos that's how amazing turmeric is and if you want to know the benefits of turmeric you can also check it out on other videos in this video i'll only talk about the new ingredients i've been using like cinnamon all right yeah so before trying out any new ingredients on your face please it's important that you perform a test patch on the skin on the four part of your wrists okay like i am doing apply the mask carefully on your hand and wait a few minutes to see whether it irritates your skin if it irritates your skin do not apply it on your face and for me it did not irritate so i went ahead and i applied it if it irritates your skin just don't use it okay yeah this is called the test part and it's important you do it on every product that is new to your face right okay 
So this is how you apply the mask. It was easier to apply than the avocado one and yeah, it felt really amazing. So let's talk about cinnamon. Cinnamon is important for our faces and our skin because it reduces fine lines and it plumps out our skin, leaving us looking younger and glowing. It brings blood, it stimulates blood to our skin surface, which also gives us that natural glow. It treats eczema. Eczema is a skin condition that leaves us with light colored patches from time to time. And since it is, has antiseptic properties, it is good for antibacterial infections and it declogs pores, which allow us to have an acne-free and a pimple-free skin. Okay, that is how amazing cinnamon is and you can only use this once a week. Do not use it more than that. All right? Yep. So for that mask, it's for normal skin type and it prevents acne and evens out skin tone. And we only need oatmeal, two tablespoons of oatmeal. And this is, I have already talked about oatmeal in another video. Make sure to crush it so that it's fine and does not damage your skin in the process. Okay, yeah. Then we need coconut oil and this is because it moisturizes our skin, prevents premature aging, reduces wrinkles and smoothens out our skin. I have been using coconut oil for the longest and now I can see what it actually does to my skin, okay? So here you also need a tablespoonful of water and if you have raw milk, you can as well use it in this mask. It works amazingly and because I don't have raw milk, I opted to add a little bit of lemon. So if you have milk, you don't necessarily have to add lemon but they both work well to even out skin tone so that's why i added my lemon you mix well make sure it's a paste so if the water is not enough if it's too thick you can just add a little bit more and make it into a paste okay yeah so application of this mask is pretty much the easiest and it feels amazing i don't know how but oatmeal has this cooling effect on your skin you feel like I, I don't know it's just skin heaven can i say that <laughs> it feels amazing on the skin so you just apply it evenly on all parts of your face and don't forget your neck region as we talked and yeah basically wait for it to dry out around 20 to 50, okay 15 to 20 minutes and then just scrub it off gently and then wash it off with lukewarm water that is it easy peasy so yeah so like i said before i'm not a dermatologist by any means but i do my research i am a researcher by profession i am a scientist and so before i put anything up on my videos or before i try something out i do intensive research so you can trust the process okay don't doubt it because i have done intensive research on the things that i post over here yeah so on to our next mask which is our last mask and it is just basically egg mask okay i think you have seen this trending so much on the internet it's like everyone uses it and this is because our egg is really high in protein and the egg white tightens our skin it is like lifts our skin and you have like this natural facelift and you're glowing and it shrinks your pores such that your skin is kind of glassy so yeah this is how i separate my egg yolk and my egg white to just make a small hole and gently pour out the egg white while making sure your yolk does not fall out then just simply beat up the egg white until it's fluffy and don't add anything else basically it's the simplest mask you can have at only 20 shillings okay yep so this is me not wanting to waste anything and so i decided to cook my egg yolk and feed on it before i use the egg white anyway that's not the point point is to use this mask you need tissue and the kind of tissue you use is up to you. You can opt to do the usual toilet paper or you can use the kitchen toilet, what do you call them? 
towels, paper towels, yeah. So that's what I opted to use and just fold it into fours, cut it into pieces. So you have to consider the, the facial structure that you have. You cut two square pieces for your cheek, cheeks on both sides, so those are two. The rectangular ones for the forehead and for the chin and then you can just cut the rest into different shapes that will suit, that will fill up your face, okay? So once you're done cutting, you just take the egg white and a, oh my god, that just tells you how late it is <laughs> as I record this. Anyway, you apply the egg white on your face and then you put up the piece of tissue and that cock doesn't want us to prosper, but we're gonna do this despite of that roster. Let me call it roster. <laughs> So you apply the first layer, you put on your tissue, and then you apply another layer and put the second piece of tissue, and then apply another layer of your egg white over the top tissue. So basically, you repeat this process until your entire face is covered with egg yolk, ah, sorry, egg white and tissue, such that you look as if you have worn a white mask so i'm not gonna lie it's a long tedious process but eventually you get it done and then all you have to do is wait for it to dry out and make sure it dries completely before you attempt to remove it okay so that way your skin soaks off the proteins from the egg white and clears out your pores and tightens the skin and all these good benefits so just be patient and do it well okay yeah once your entire face is covered and it's dried off it's time to remove it and make sure you remove it very very gently because it can be quite painful especially if you usually have facial hair so take it out really really slowly okay yeah and it comes off as this hard thing as if it's a plaster or something but the feeling it's undeniably amazing okay so and you just wash it off with lukewarm water and once you're done please make sure to apply a moisturizer i use coconut oil to moisturize my skin okay don't forget that if you're watching this it means you've come to the end of the video and i'm so grateful that you did and i only share what i believe in and i share in what i can use on myself i don't just share things for views and likes so thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and yeah we are still toning our skin we're not there yet but my god if you've watched how to 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 the the video i'll link it up somewhere here or here not sure where but if you have watched how to even out your skin tone or to remove dark patches you remember i had really dark around i was really dark around my mouth area and my chin and my neck and right now i feel like i can comfortably say my skin it's not there yet my skin tone still varies a little bit but i feel like it's more even than it was when I started this journey. So join me in the journey of having a perfect skin tone. And yeah, my skin is not perfect, but I'm comfortable in it. I don't have any makeup right now. I didn't even do my eyebrows just so that nobody says I did makeup. So yeah, this is me straight out of bathroom. Yeah, just coconut oil and nothing else. So thank you. See you next time.